Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It's me again, Teacher Alice there. And today I'd like to read Such chapter five of our book, The Night is Gone. Ready? Chapter five, Trapped. Come on, cried Annie. Hurry! Jack raced behind her. Here, quick! Annie dashed towards the door off the hallway. She pushed the door open. Jack and Annie stumbled into a dark, cold room. The door creaked shut behind them. Give me the flashlight, said Annie. Jack handed it to her and she switched it on. Yikes, said Annie. A row of knights was in front of them. Annie flicked off the light. Jack whispered. Annie switched the light back on. <gasps> They're just suits, Jack said. Without heads, said Annie. Suits of armor standing in a row with the leg arm and breastplates. Heavy helmets lay on the shelves with visors covering the face. Annie. Let me have the flashlight for a second, said Jack, so I can look in the book. Annie handed Jack the flashlight. He pulled out the castle book. He flipped through the pages until he found what he was looking for. Jack put the book away. It's called the armory, he said. It's where the armor and weapons are stored. He shined the flashlight around the room. Oh man, whispered Jack. The light fell on shiny breastplates, leg plates, arm plates. Shelves were filled with helmets and weapons, shields, spears, swords, crossbows, clubs, and battle axes hung on the walls. Shields, swords, gloves, and spears, battle axes, and crossbows stored inside. Jack and Annie turn off the flashlight. They know they must hide. Voices came from the hallway. Let's hide, said Annie. Wait, said Jack. I've got to check on something first. Hurry, said Annie. It'll just take a second, okay? Said Jack, hold this. He handed Annie the flashlight. He tried to lift a helmet from a shelf. Oh, it was too heavy. He bent down and dragged the helmet over his head. The visor slammed shut. Oh man, thought Jack. This is worse than having a five-year-old on my head. It's like having a 10-year-old on my head. Not only could Jack not lift his head, he couldn't see anything either. Jack, Annie shouted far away. They're getting closer. Turn off the flashlight. Jack's voice echoed echoed inside of the metal helmet. He struggled to get the helmet off. Suddenly, oh, 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 he lost his balance and went crashing into the other pieces of armor. Metal plates and weapons clattered to the floor. Jack lay on the floor in the dark. He tried to get up but his head was too heavy. He heard deep voices. Someone grabbed him by the arm. The next thing he knew, his helmet was yanked off. He was staring into the fiery light of a torch. Helmets lay on the shelves with visors covering the face. Shield, swords, gloves, and spears. Oh, that chapter with me today, guys. Did you know you can scroll down and see all of the other videos, like the songs and the quizlets for our chapter two? I got the song right here. Boo! Yeah. 
And you can practice the new words on Quizlet, story questions, or even read the chapter again with me in English and Chinese. Nice. That way, every day, in every way, your English will be getting better and better. Okay, guys, remember, loving, kind, happy, and grateful. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.